welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I've got another unboxing. Um, so this is from Pam um, from Wilson 3D Designs, who originally sent me a couple of these trays. Um, now I have been using this loads. Um, I have found there's been a couple of little bits that didn't quite work as well, but overall, um, the tray and the fact that I could tip all the diamonds down and then put them in my container, um, and also this bit to hold was working really well for me. Um, now Pam reached out and apparently they have tweaked a few things, um, and she sent me the revise. So I'm actually quite excited. I am just gonna move it off screen just to get in it because the tape at the bottom is quite a bit, but the box at the top, of course, has my address. So let's get it open and then we'll get looking. So this is the box. So we do have a letter. Um, so, oh, she did want to say how seriously she took my constructive criticism. I like that because there was nothing vicious in it at all. Um, and made improvements. So the new version 2.0 is a reflection of what me and other YouTube celebrities, oh celebrities, um, have said that you didn't like. Um, and it also solves some of the issues that our wonderful and valued customers have had. So the fins on the bed of the tray are now smoother. So trap drills should be a thing of the past. So just to show you um, on this one, there was just the odd little ridge here. It's a little bit flatter um, than the other ones. So I did occasionally get diamonds stuck in here. So not a big deal, but it was. Every now and then it was a little bit. It was like, oh, I can't pick it up. Um, the spout is shorter. And that's to stop the drills getting stuck in the funnel. I didn't pretty much have that um, as much. Uh, apparently the plug has also been shortened um, so that it can come out easily. Now, I was using this grey one. My daughter was using the white one, um, which is here. So this is the originals. Um, and di she did find that this was a lot harder to get out, which of course, when you're also dealing with it full of diamonds, um, it could be a little bit more awkward. Though, of course, we could have potentially just got a nail file and shaved it down. <coughs> um, the bed's height has been lowered and the sides have been raised. Now, that is a good one for me because I did find I occasionally lost them off the back or the sides when I was shaking them to get them to go in the grooves. Um, so that's good. The finger rings have been beefed up to increase strength. I didn't have as much of an issue with that, but... Um, and the funnel has been rounded and raised in the centre to prevent drill jail breaks. And finally, the rake is now rubber. Now, I must say, I don't tend to use the, the rake part. Um, but what I did find was if a diamond got past this line here, I couldn't get it back as easy. Partly because of the lower sides um, and also that little ridge. Um, so, and after seeing a video about the vulnerability of brass tips on the acrylic pens, her husband decided to make a pen display that would fit both their new $30 pen and protect the crib, the tip, sorry. We're working through some different ideas, design ideas, and decided to send you the short version with the multi-placer cradle. Ooh. Okay, so enough of the old talk. I'm now very interested and want to see what's in here. So, oh, we've got lots of parcels. So let me, oh, it's coming on done enough. I thought I was gonna have to find where I put my scissors. So in the green package, we have, we have, oh, a drill tray. Oh, I do like that. Okay, so 
I can see straight off the two things that got me have changed. So, say, I don't use this that often just because I can never find it when I want it. Um, but I do completely understand how it will help people. Um, but first things I can see is the sides are indeed taller. And I quite like this rounded bit because it does mean that if you, you know, you do need to get in there, you know, knock some drills out. Should anything happen, if you've got some clumpy drills, you can. Um, but first things first, I've noted there is no difference in the groove here, which means there should be no stick. And there is no line here, which is the one that got me more. Um, because if I got a diamond that went over that way, I couldn't get the flipping thing out without tipping it all the way out. So, very impressed with that. Um, so we've got just a little bit of 3D printing leftovers, but that's not a biggie. So we have a shorter little spout. That one's a little bit stiffer than my other one. But again, that's not a biggie. I think I'll just try a nail file on it a little bit. Um, and those finger holes are chunkier. That seems a lot tougher because the other thing I did have with this one is this had started cracking just a little bit. Not that I've dropped it or knocked it that I know of. It could have happened at any point. It could have happened in the post or some other time. But look at that difference. This one, oh, I'm already excited to use this one. So this one is now going to go into my stash to use. Because as I say, I do much prefer. Let me try the longer. I'm gonna. This is just curiosity. Okay, so the longer one does also fit in. So if you have got one of their other ones, you could always have the longer. But to be fair, the short stopper it will come out quicker, won't it, to go back in? Um, I do also like this. It's a bit like a spaceship. This is now my spaceship. But yeah, very impressed. Um, and then we have got um, the, what does she call it? The rake, that's what she called it. Um, the rake to use, that you can use to scrape the diamonds out um, of the tray and push them down if you want, which I can see working for some people. Um, I just always seem to forget where it is, um, but maybe I will I will give the rake part to go along with the rest. So that is number one. I'm already very happy and um, very excited to use this. So then we have the purple parcel. Ooh, what have we got in this one? This is feeling like a tray. This is definitely feeling like a tray. Sorry, I'm just trying to get in it. I don't know why I don't just buy my scissors. Okay, there we go. Very nicely wrapped. It's like Christmas morning. So in my lilac parcel, oh, I can see my daughter pinching this one and using this one. Uh, we have a pink version of the same. So again, I think the stopper is going to need a little bit of a nail file just a little bit stiff when you pull it um but i really don't think that's going to be a big issue but look at that for a color hot pink i'm sure she'll use that uh, and then we have the little rake so again we've got two there was people mentioning to me in my last video that some are for round and some are for square but all the spacing is exactly the same. I don't necessarily think there is a round and a square one. Um, anyway, I use it for both. I've been using the grey one um, because I do find I have, while there is some grey colours, that feels so smooth on the bottom. Um, while I do have some, of course, grey colours, I find quite often I'll have a lot more white and I can see them really well on this one. So I'm sure I could see grey and white and everything on that one. That's a proper hot pink. Um, but I know my daughter likes pink, so <clears throat> we might get her to give it another go. Um, and then 
oh this this must be the something new because this is definitely a different shape i'm very intrigued okay let me move the trays out of the way not too far though because i'll need one of those for diamond painting later Ooh. okay this is like a brassy gold so this is again 3d printed but this is to hold diamond painting pens so i happen to have a few acrylic diamond painting pens so let's give them a go so i have a wooden one oh i'm liking i'm liking and these are from a few different sellers this is my latest one from a uk seller in fact there's a couple from a uk seller oh so can you see that where they stick out the bottom i don't know if you can actually tell hang on let me find something flat okay so this is just her piece of paper to me but so that is a flat surface even though it is paper but can you see there the pen tops are not touching the paper um and that paper's actually probably bowed up a little bit more than a desk for example would be but it's hard to show you on camera but that is not touching at all even with this one that seems to stick out a bit further and i don't know if that's actually the pen is it the pen no it's partly the pen holder but even so that is actually not touching when you have something flat and hard let me see if i can find something that's a bit stiffer um okay so my light pad <laughs> trying to find what's handy so of course my light pad is as hard as a surface would be and therefore we're not going to get any bend but if i tip that to the side the pens are not touching that it does look very close on this one on the end but i can assure you there is at least a millimeter in that gap so they are not touching which means they're not going to get damaged that is nice I like that. Good choice for your next product for Wilson 3D Designs. But look, ah, I can display pretty pens. Oh, this is going to have to sit on my desk. So I think this is going to have to sit on my desk with um, newer pens. Let me try it as well with... Let me try it as well with a couple of pens that have the same sort of tips but aren't like the acrylic ones. Um, so I have one here that was gifted to me, one of the heart rainbow ones. So again, that tip doesn't stick out. We've got a pen that was made for me with beads. We've got a standard pink pen. Not one of them is the nibs on it touching the desk. What else have I got? So I do also have, um, this is sort of a mermaid one and it does have a top to it. So, you know, of course, if you had lost the top or didn't want to use the top. Um, we've got another pen conversion that was sent to me. That one, again, that one is nowhere near. Um, and we've also got a clay pen that was made for me and again that one's nowhere near the only one that i think could possibly be is because it's a completely different tip to what this was designed for oh and even that doesn't so even on the edge that is the closest to touching the desk say it has a millimeter or so in it but even the hole that is the closest that does not touch a hard surface I didn't expect that and I expected that to be the pen not the design um, so yeah very impressed this is going to as I say this is going to sit on my desk um, with some of my 
some of my pens, you know, because you need a pen for quick access. Um, say some pens come with tops, so it might not be as suitable. Um, oh, I think I'm putting that on the wrong way. There we go. Um, yeah, so it may not be as suitable. But... Just to be able to have a pen to grab and go and that is a nice bronzy color i like it i like it a lot um so yeah very well done on the new design sorry let me get those pens down there. um very easy to grab and use um grab and go and a nice design I'm liking the bronzy colour, but it's also got like a, you see the little sort of texture in it? Ooh, the lights like this colour as well. Um, and then of course it's got holes where your pen nibs sit in, so you're not going to damage anything. Um, 3D printed, and then we've got the new trays, which I am definitely going to be using this one when I diamond paint later. Um, and... This is definitely going to sit on my desk. Um, it may sit on my little cart that I take my diamond painting with because the amount of times I put my pen down and forget where it is, is unbelievable. But yeah, thank you so much for sending me these, Pam. I feel very spoilt and I'm very excited. Um, but thank you so much to everybody for sticking with me and watching. I will, of course, pop a link down below. Um, as to where you can get hold of one of these for yourself if you wish. Um, I highly recommend it. I say I was really even enjoying using this one um, with these new little design things. I think I'm going to enjoy it even more. Um, but yeah, I will speak to you all again soon.